Hello and welcome. If you find anything useful in the content that I produce, please like and subscribe, it really helps. Following on from my previous two tutorials, today we'll be doing a slightly more advanced retargeting of metahumans using the new IK retargeting method. If you haven't seen my first two videos and you're or you are a beginner, please go back and check those videos out so you can follow along with this one. Since I put out my tutorials, Epic has released Unreal Engine 5 into preview. This means that more of you now have access to Unreal Engine 5. With the introduction done, let's move on and into the tutorial. Here we are in Unreal Engine 5. Now, before I proceed, I am not using Unreal Engine 5 Preview 1. This is because when I was putting together this tutorial, I was trying to retarget animations and it would crash. This was a bug in the code. Now, I have no idea when Epic will be updating the preview or if it will be updated at all before the release. So I am using a build from GitHub and the bug is fixed in this build. So if you are watching this at the moment, that's not very helpful for you if all you have is the preview. If you're watching this in the future, then that is fine. Anyway, let's proceed. Okay, what we have here is just a basic scene. It is a modified version of the MetaHuman lighting presets scene, which is freely available on the Epic Marketplace. This is what I used in my previous videos. Um, then we have the mannequin dragged in and a metahuman here. Here she is. And there's been no editing or anything on this metahuman. It's just straight from Bridge. I will assume at this point you know how to import a metahuman. The animation we're going to be retargeting is this. This is not a freely available animation. It is by Morrow Motion on the Epic Marketplace. Okay, in my previous tutorials, I went through this IK rig with you. Um, hopefully it was clear and you could understand it. If this is your first time seeing the IK rig, please go back and look at the other videos because I'm going to be rushing through this today. What I am going to be showing you though is a quicker way of getting these chains created. So first I will come in and I will right click on the pelvis set retarget root. I will then click on spine one Hold down control, left click on spine 2, spine 3, scroll down, find neck 01, then right click, add new retarget chain from selected bones, and in this case it's the spine, spine is done. While we're down here, I'm going to right click on, I'm going to select, left click on the head, right click, and new retarget chain from selected bones, and that's the head done. Now I want to go under the arms. So we'll click on clavicle L, hold down control, left click, upper arm, lower arm and hand, then right click, new retarget chain from selected bones and we'll call this arm L. Then I'm going to scroll down to do the right arm, which is I will then click, left click on clavicle R, hold down control, left click, upper arm, lower arm and hand and new retarget chain from selected bones and we'll call this arm R and then we will then go down to the legs which will be left click on thigh and then select calf foot and ball new retarget chain from selected bones and we'll call this leg left then we move down to the right leg, which is thigh R, calf R, foot R, ball R. And we'll create a chain for that. So leg R. Now in the previous tutorial, this is where I stopped. But today we are going to do the fingers. So in order to do the fingers, it's quite quick. So we would want to start with the index left index finger here. So we will click on index 01 left, 
then hold down control the same and left click two and three and new chain from selected bones and there we have it we have an index finger now we repeat the process for the rest of the fingers on both arms okay to save time here is one i created earlier i will place these onto the screen just in case Next, we move on to the metahuman. Okay, here we have a metahuman. Now, in this particular instance, I have the female medium underweight body because that is what applies to my particular metahuman. If your metahuman uses a different body, you would select it from here as they all share the same skeleton. I believe, for example, we could have the sweater. But today we will be just using female, medium, underweight, body preview. Now, you will notice that this looks strange. The bones are here and the mesh is not really attached to the bones. I'm going to explain why that is now. Now, the metahumans have a slightly different apose to a mannequin. And with the metahumans, there is a retargeting pose asset. Now you used to be able to apply that in the skeleton window. Let me just show you that. Here we are in the skeleton window. Now what we used to be able to do is select a pose here. In this instance, it would be the retargeting pose for uh, a female medium underweight. And that will allow the metahuman to have the same pose as the mannequin. Now this does not carry through the IK retargeting process, which is really, really frustrating. But I have found a way to do this. It's a messy way. Um, we're going to show you that right now. Okay, we're back in the IK targeting window. Now, the A pose that we used to be able to apply and use that pose for retargeting animation d does not come here for some reason. And, and as you can see, it kind of has, but when we move into the IK retargeter itself, the pose is not carried through into the IK retargeter. So the method I've found is all metahumans have a pose process animation blueprint. In this case, it's F medium underway anim BP. If we click edit, which we can do from this window, it will open up the blueprint. Okay, here we are inside the animation blueprint. Now, every metahuman has its own animation blueprint. It's the post animation blueprint you need to be editing. And for this particular skeletal mesh, uh, this is what we're looking at. So what we're going to do is right click and we're going to create a pose driver. There we go. And we're going to use this pose driver to set the pose of the metahuman to the corrected A pose. So we'll go from there into there and then into there and compile and we get an error, but that's fine. All right, what we need to do now is come over to the details panel, scroll all the way down to the bottom, uh, click here for pose asset under settings and we want to type in retarget. Now, you've got to know which skeletal mesh you are working with. I know that I am working with the female medium underweight, so we choose that retarget pose. And there we have it. Then we scroll all the way back up to the top and we click on tools, copy all from current pose. And that will give you two, a zero and a one with these names, delete the second one or it won't compile right so now we click compile and we get a warning because we haven't got any source bones so we scroll down to pose driver source bones and we click here and i found that root works for me maybe another bone works for you but i will be using you root so we do that and then there we go and now our 
metahuman is in the correct A pose that matches the mannequin. So we'll save that, close, and now we can move on to the IK retargeter. Okay, here we are in the IK retargeter window itself. Again, if you don't know what this is, please go back and look at the other two videos because again, I am rushing ahead and not really explaining. Right, so we're in this window. Now, now with the corrected pose, they are posed correctly. Let's look from the top just to make sure. There may be minor differences and you can, of course, edit those differences by clicking on new pose and naming it what you want. In this case, uh, meta human pose and reset the pose and then edit pose. And th this is probably because we've edited the post process blueprint. The skeleton is not in the same place as the skeletal mesh. It's it's crazy, but that's just what it is. And you will have to work with that. Um, so yes, you would edit the pose from here. Um, something that somebody said they were struggling with, let's just go back here, is they were trying to do this. And as you can see, it is impossible to see the bones you're working with with this. I did not explain this in the other video. You go to, over here to bone draw size and you make those bones smaller over there, look. And then that makes it a lot easier for you to uh, pose with your character. And there we have it. Anyway, um, this pose does match. So we're not going to do any more with that. I'm going to actually delete the pose. And we're going to move on to retarget in itself, which as you can see, I've already got my animation here, which today I will be using this one. Which is, again, it's from Morrow Motion in the Epic Marketplace. Okay, now in preview one, you, a lot of people are clicking here and trying to export their animations and there is a crash. Again, I cannot help you with that. You will either need to build Unreal Engine yourself or wait for another preview or a release so with that all done we click export animations and we tutorial animations and we click there and there we have it we have our exported meta human animation okay with your animation now retargeted to your meta human you can come back to your scene Again, this is my basic scene. I've created a sequencer by going up here and add level sequencer. I've set my desired frame rate. I've created a camera. I've then dragged my metahuman into the sequencer along with the mannequin in this case. I've then gone to the body of our metahuman. I've right clicked. I've added the animation in the normal way. And this is what we have. If you've got any questions, please ask in the comments section. Also, if you think I can do things better, that would be appreciated. I'm learning just the same as you. If you liked this content, then please like and subscribe. It really helps. And hopefully I will see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.